Seattle app, Russell Wilson threw three two-count passes, the last to 15-yard strike to J.D. McKissick with 729 left, and the Seattle Seahawks stayed in the NFC playoff hunt with a 2,410 victory over the Philadelphia Eagles on Sunday night. Seattle 84 snapped Philadelphia's nine-game winning streak thanks largely to another masterful performance by its quarterback. Wilson was 20 of 31 for 227 and threw two counts of 11 yards to Jimmy Graham, one yard to Tyler Lockett and the TD to McKissick after the Eagles had trimmed the lead to seven. Philadelphia 102 was the highest-scoring team in the NFL averaging 31.9 points per game. But the Eagles got just 10 points out of seven drives that at some point reached Seattle territory. Carson Wentz was 29 of 45 for 348 yards with one two-count and one interception. Wentz had a costly fumble at the Seattle 1 on the opening drive of the second half that could have pulled the Eagles even. Wentz was inches shy of breaking the plane when Sheldon Richardson ripped the ball free. The loose ball bounced around the end zone and eventually over the end line for a touchback in Seattle's ball. It was a major turning point as Seattle went 80 yards in 11 plays, capped by Wilson's one-yard pass to Luckett and a 173 Seattle lead. The two-count was set up by a 47-yard pass to Doug Baldwin on third and 10 beating a Philadelphia blitz. Vikings 14, Falcons 980 LANTA app, Case Keenum threw a pair of two-count passes, and Minnesota extended its winning streak to eight straight games, keeping Atlanta out of the end zone. Keenum, who was 25 of 30 for 227 yards, hooked up with Jarek McKinnon on a two-yard scoring play in the second quarter, and went to Kyle Rudolph for a six-yard TD on the first play of the fourth quarter, capping an 89-yard drive that consumed more than eight minutes. Minnesota 102 turned in a stellar defensive effort against a Falcons team that led the league in scoring a year ago and seemed to be finding its stride during a three-game winning streak, averaging nearly 32 points. While Minnesota remained far ahead in the NFC North, the Falcons fell further behind in the NFC South and could be damaged in the wildcard race. The Falcons 75 were held without a two-count for the first time since Deck. 13, 2015, when they were blanked 380 by Carolina. Matt Ryan's streak of 30 straight games with a two-count pass also ended, going down as the eighth longest in NFL history. Patriots 23, Bills 3 OR, CHARD Park, NY. App, Rex Burkhead scored twice and the Patriots won their eighth straight in an AFC East showdown overshadowed by injuries and cheap shots. Bills starting quarterback Tyrod Taylor had a towel draped over his head while being carted off the sideline with a left knee injury early in the fourth quarter. Patriots tight end Rob Gronkowski, meanwhile, was accused of making a dirty hit after pile driving shoulder first into the back of the head of Bills cornerback Tredavious White, who was laying on the field after making an interception with 450 remaining. White was dazed as he got up and was immediately escorted to the locker room to be evaluated for a concussion. The hit sparked a shoving match between Hyde and Patriots receiver Danny Amendola. Bills defensive end Jerry Hughes was so upset he was flagged for making contact with an official. Gronkowski was apologetic after the game. Tom Brady went 21 of 30 for 258 yards and an interception, while improving to 273 over Buffalo and breaking Brett Favors' NFL record for most wins by a quarterback against any one opponent. Favre had 26 wins over Detroit. Brady needed to simply stand aside and let the Patriots' rejuvenated rushing attack wear down the Bills in a game New England 102 never trailed. Dion Lewis had 92 yards rushing and Burkhead had 78. New England won its 14th consecutive road game, the second longest streak in NFL history, and reached double digits in victories for the 15th consecutive. New England also improved to 305 against Buffalo since Patriots coach Bill Belichick was hired in 2000, the Bills are 66, Saints 31, Panthers 2-1 NEW Orleans app, rookie sensation Alvin Kamara scored two tackles shedding two counts, and New Orleans took advantage of a pair of Carolina special teams gaffes as the Saints reclaimed sole possession of first place in the NFC South. Mark Ingram rushed for 85 yards and a two-count for the Saints 93, who own the head-to-head -head tiebreaker over Carolina 84 with four games to go.
Drew Brees passed for 269 yards, including a 10-yard TD to Michael Thomas a few plays after a botched Panthers punt gave New Orleans the ball on the Carolina 31. In the fourth quarter, a fumble by Panthers punt returner Kaelin Clay near midfield set up Will Lute's 31-yard field goal to give New Orleans a 3,114 lead. Cam Newton passed for 183 yards and two counts of 21 yards to Christian McCaffrey and 24 to Devon Funches. Newton also ran for 51 yards. Jonathan Stewart added a short TD run for Carolina, which had its four-game winning streak ended. The Panthers were unable to convert a crucial fourth-hand six-play deep in Saints territory in the fourth quarter. Newton connected with Funches, who was stopped a yard short by cornerback Ken Crawley. Kamara finished with 122 yards from scrimmage. Charges 19. Browns 1 OCARSON. Caliph. App. Philip Rivers passed for 344 yards and hit Keenan Allen for a two count, and the surging charges moved into a tie for first place in the AFC West with a victory over the winless Browns. Allen had 10 catches for 105 yards in his third straight big game for the Chargers 66, who have won 6 of 8 to pull even with Oakland and slumping Kansas City atop the division with four games to go. New kicker Travis Coons hit four field goals as the Chargers grind out a win over the Browns 0-1-2, whose only victory in the previous 30 games was a 2017 win over the then San Diego Chargers on Christmas Eve last. Cleveland trailed 197 entering the fourth quarter, and Zane Gonzalez hit an early field goal before the Browns mounted a long drive. But Joey Bozza forced a fumble with a vicious sack of Deshaun Kaiser deep in Chargers territory, and Denzel Perryman recovered with 448 to play. The Browns had another drive, but Adrian Phillips' interception ended it. Josh Gordon had four catches for 84 yards in his first NFL game since 2014 for the Browns. The talented receiver had been suspended for over two and a half s for numerous violations of the NFL's substance abuse policies, but was reinstated last month. Raiders 24, Giants 170A KLAND, Caliph. App, Oakland's Marshawn Lynch had a 51-yard two-can run and got his first 100-yard rushing game since coming out of retirement, in New York's first game without Eli Manning starting in 13 years. Oakland 66 overcame the absences of starting receivers Michael Crabtree suspension and Amari Cooper injury to win consecutive games for the first time since the opening two games of the The Raiders moved into a three-way tie for first place in the AFC West with Kansas City and the Chargers. Geno Smith lost two fumbles before throwing a two-count pass in the fourth quarter to Evan Ingram for the Giants 210, while Manning spent the day on the sideline watching. New York benched Manning earlier in the week, ending his streak of 210 straight regular season starts, and he spent his first game as a spectator since November 14, 2004, walking around the sideline with no helmet and listening to the play calls with an earpiece. Smith finished 21 for 34 for 212 yards. Rams 32, Cardinals 1-6 GLENDALE, Arizona. App, Jared Goff passed for two two counts. Los Angeles took advantage of two early interceptions thrown by Blaine Gabbitt, and the Rams solidified their grip on first place in the NFC West. The Rams 93 won for the sixth time in seven games to clinch their first winning since 2003 when they were in St. Louis. They took the series with the Cardinals for only the second time in the last 14 years and first since 2012. The Rams had rooted the Cardinals in London 330 on October. 22 and were in the lead almost from the start of this one. Gabbert's interceptions helped Los Angeles score 16 early points, including Alec Ogletree's 41-yard interception return for a two-count, and the Rams led the rest of the way. The Cardinals 57 cut the lead to 16-13 in the second quarter and were down 19-13 at the break. The Rams added an 11-yard two-count pass from Goff to Sammy Watkins in the third quarter and got a blocked field goal from Michael Brockers in the fourth when Arizona could have cut the lead to seven. With Adrian Peterson sitting out with a neck injury, and despite playing with Ed Ribs, Kerwin Williams carried 16 times for 97 yards, three shy of his career best. Jets 38, Chiefs 3-1 EAST Rutherford, NJ. App, Josh McCone scored on a one-yard quarterback sneak with 215 left, and the Jets bounced back from a brutal start for a wild and wacky win over the spiraling Chiefs.
Chandler Catanzaro kicked a 21-yard field goal to put the Jets 57 ahead with 355 left. But Kansas City's Benny Logan was called for a personal foul for hitting long snapper Thomas Hennessy on the play. That gave the Jets the ball at the one with a new set of downs. After two running plays, McCone threw incomplete, but Steven Nelson was penalized for defensive holding, making it first on goal from the two. Three plays later, McCone kept the ball and shoved his way into the end zone. McCown's pass on the two-point conversion was incomplete, but Nelson was called for holding. An enraged Marcus Peters picked up the penalty flag and tossed it away, drawing an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. Elijah Maguire ran it in moments later to convert the two-point play and make it 3,831. McCone finished with 331 yards, passing and a two-count to Matt Forte, and ran for two scores, including the winner. Jermaine Kearse had nine catches for 157 yards and Robbie Anderson caught eight passes for 107 yards as the Jets dominated in time of possession, but still had to hold their breath in the end. After Tyreek Hill's 40-yard catch put the ball at the Jets 23, Smith completed a four-yard pass to Travis Kelche, who had two early two counts. But Smith was then incomplete on three straight passes. The loss by the Chiefs 66 ruined the return of cornerback Darrell Revis, who made his debut with Kansas City after signing a two-year deal last week. Revis, who played eight years over two stints with the Jets, started for the Chiefs, but spent the second half on the sideline. Kansas City has dropped six of its last seven after opening the 50, Packers 26, Buccaneers 20, OTGREEN Bay, WIS. App, Aaron Jones 20-yard two-count run on his only carry, with 559 left in overtime, won it. With the passing game struggling, Green Bay 66 wore down the Buccaneers on the ground. Brett Hundley had runs of 18 and 7 yards on the drive to start overtime. The Packers grind out a win to stay in the playoff race, though they trail NFC North leader Minnesota by four games. They hope to get starting quarterback Aaron Rodgers back from a collarbone injury in a couple weeks. Jameis Winston threw two two-count passes to Cameron Brait in the quarterback's shaky return from a shoulder injury. But the defense couldn't hold up in overtime for the last place Buccaneers 48, Mason Crosby's 22-yard field goal tied the game at 20 with 201 left giving the team a lift after the Bucs tried to wear out the Packers on the run. Peyton Barber had 102 yards for 23 carries. Winston finished 21 of 32 for 270 yards, including an 11-yard pass to Brait for a 2017 lead with 602 left. Titans 24, Texans 1-3 NASH VILLE, Tennessee. App, LaShawn Sims intercepted a pass intended for DeAndre Hopkins in the end zone with 102 left, and the stayed atop the AFC South. Marcus Mariota also ran for a two-count and threw for another, but the Titans needed the interception to preserve the win with Tom Savage throwing for a career-high 365 yards despite the Texans losing four offensive players to injuries during the game. The Titans 84 won they were second straight and sixth of their past seven. They improved to 41 in the AFC South to stay ahead of Jacksonville, a winner over Indianapolis. Tennessee DIDNT look ready to take advantage of a chance for a little payback against Houston for the 5,714 beatdown the Texans put on them October. One when Deshaun Watson and J.J. Watt were healthy. The Titans even fell behind 100 before rallying to tie at halftime. Injuries have taken a toll on the Texans' 48. Savage even made up for three consecutive false starts by Jeff Allen, who slid over to left tackle, after having fourth hand four. Savage found Steven Anderson with a 22-yarder. Sims beat Hopkins for the interception on the next play, and Derrick Henry ran 75 yards up the left sideline for a TD three plays later. Henry finished with 109 yards rushing. Ravens 44, Lions 2 OBALTIMORE app, Joe Flacco threw for 269 yards and two two counts, and the Ravens survived a strong comeback bid by Matthew Stafford and the Lions. After relying heavily on their opportunistic defense for much of the, the Ravens 75 finally received an ample contribution from the league's 31 strength defense. Flacco helped Baltimore take a 200 halftime lead and directed three scoring drives in the fourth quarter to keep the Ravens in front. Flacco completed 23 of 36 passes while guiding an offense that did not commit a turnover. 
Stafford completed a team record 20 straight passes in the second half, twice getting the Lions within a two count. But Detroit 66 lost a second straight following a three game winning streak. Stafford left late in the fourth quarter with a right hand injury, his hand was stepped on. He went 24 for 29 for 292 yards. The Ravens came in with three shutouts and an NFL best 26 takeaways. They forced three more turnovers, all of them pivotal. Jaguars 30, Colts 1 0 J A C K S O N V I L L E, FLA. App Blake Bortles threw two two count passes, Leonard Fournette scored for the first time in six weeks, and the Jaguars swept the series for the second time since they joined the AFC South in 2002. The Jaguars 84 bounced back from a last second loss at Arizona, reached eight wins for the first time since 2010, and remained in the thick of the playoff picture. Bortles, Fournette and some more trickery had a lot to do with the latest victory. Bortles completed 26 of 35 passes for 309 yards, with TD passes to Mark Easley and Keelan Cole. Fournette found little room for the third time in the past four games. He finished with 57 yards on 20 carries and limped off the field with an ankle injury late in the third quarter, but re-entered the game. Fournette went untouched for a five-yard score to open the second half. Jacksonville's toe-pranked defense kept the Colts 39 at bay most of the game. The only blemish was a 40-yard two-count pass from Jacoby Brissett to T.Y. Hilton on a fourth-hand two-play in the third quarter. The Jaguars got the lopsided result started with a fake punt. It was Jacksonville's third fake punt of the all successful and all leading to two counts. Dolphins 35 Broncos 9 MIAMI Gardens, blah. App, Zavine Howard's 30-yard interception return for a two-count highlighted a dominating defensive effort by the Dolphins, and they snapped a five-game losing streak. The Broncos 39 lost their eighth in a row. Miami 57 scored two safeties in a game for the first time in franchise history and held Denver to one for 13 on third-down conversions. Trevor Simeon, the Broncos' third starting quarterback in as many weeks, went 20 for 42 for 219 yards with three interceptions. Kenyon Drake rushed for 120 yards for Miami on 23 carries, both career highs. He scored on a 42-yard two-count run, only the Dolphins' second rush for a TD this year. Miami won for the first time since Week 7, while the Broncos went from bad to worse, extending the longest skid in 50 years, 49ers 15, Bears 1-4 CHICA Geo app, Robbie Gould kicked a 24-yard field goal in the closing seconds and Jimmy Garoppolo threw for 293 yards in his first San Francisco start. Gould made five field goals in his first appearance at Soldier Field since Chicago cut to him prior to the 2016 opener. The Bears' all-time leader in points and field goals made, he shouted at their sideline after he nailed the winner. Garoppolo was solid in his first start since the 49ers' 210 acquired him from New England before the trade deadline in October. The suburban Chicago product completed 26 of 37 passes with an interception. And the 49ers picked up the win after losing their first five road games. Chicago 39 dropped its fifth straight, and coach John Fox fell to 12-32 in threes with the Bears. Tarek Cohen returned the punt 61 yards for a two-count. That made him the first NFL rookie with rushing, receiving, passing and punt return TDs in a since Gale Sayers in 1965 underscore 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 for more NFL coverage http www.pro32.app.org and http www.twitter.com app underscore null copyright 2017 the Associated Press. All rights reserved. This material may not be published, broadcast, rewritten or redistributed.